Hi guys, so I want to do a little Zaralina Cosmetics brow transfers video for you to show you how the transfers are applied and how you can get the best results. So I'm using the Bold Statement Brow. This brow is my favourite, it's so fluffy and large, I love it. So yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how to apply these eyebrows. So to start with, you want to make sure you have no makeup on at all, so your skin is completely product free. Um, this is just because the product works best on a complete blank canvas. You take your brows out of the sheet. I always use the top one because the top is the biggest. They do go up in size, so they start off a smaller size and go up larger scale. If they do go too large for you, they can be cut down. Um, so try not to worry too much about the sizing of the brows that can be cut down. I know not everyone likes a larger brow. Um, personally, I only ever use the larger sizes because they look the best. So to start with, I'm literally cutting out the transfers. So it should look something like this. Obviously, you've got to cut it to the middle as well. So there's two separate eyebrows. So once you've cut out your transfers, you'll have two separate eyebrows. One is a shiny, shiny side, can't even say it. The other is a stencil, so you can see the placement of the brow when you are putting it in place. Um, now, I often get asked, can these transfers go over brow hair? Um, they can't go over bushy eyebrows. I wouldn't recommend them for just going over a normal brow. My brows are slowly growing back, as you can see, which has affected how long the transfers do last, sadly, but they do still work. It is slightly trickier to get it right. The brow hair underneath can give it little air bubbles. All you need to do is get a wet flannel, damp it down, don't rub, dab and it will literally press back into place and they will work amazing. So what you want to do next is have your little cloth ready, damp with warm water. You want to peel off the shiny side of your transfer, place it onto your eyebrow, the best placement you possibly can. Don't worry if you need to peel it back up again a few times, it's not the end of the world. I like to do them both at once. This is because otherwise they can look a bit uneven once you've finished. If you place them both at the same time, you can see the positioning and make sure that they're actually accurate. I'm lucky I have a, a tattooing stencil of my eyebrow so I can actually see the placement. If you don't have this in place, it might be a little bit more tricky, but you will get there with practice. So just don't give up. Um, I'm also making sure that the hair that's underneath is flat. So I'm not positioning it on the hair, being in different positions and angles. So now you've got both transfers in place. You can see they're fairly even, ready to go with your warm flannel. Now, all you need to do is simply dab it on. Do not rub it. Dab it on into place. Make sure you are covering the whole of the paper transfer so it is completely wet. Don't rush this. I always rush it and then I end up having to redo it again because the transfer is not actually transferred. Just take your time. You'll feel that it's starting to slide and then just simply peel away and your transfer is in place. And then obviously you do the same with the other side. Now make sure your cloth is not soaking wet through. If it's soaking wet through, you'll just make a mess. Okay, so once you've peeled off the paperback of the transfer, all you want to do is dab it, press it on with the wet side of the flannel again, which just makes sure that any air bubbles can be released. Then it makes sure that any edges of the transfer that haven't transferred are fully pressed down to your skin. Then I go over it with a dry bit this just make sure it's fully pressed on, helps reduce the shine. You will find they remain shiny for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Um, if they continue to remain shiny after this period of time, just get some clear powder um, and gently dab it over. Don't overdo it because products will ruin the eyebrows. But yeah, then you will have the best results.